Hey guys, Rob out here at I'mAlwaysInHotWater.com uh, Out on the road again today uh, Trying to get everybody's boats caught up And uh, what we got out here today is basically I'm out at Paris Island um, For about the fifth or sixth uh, vessel we've had this year Although only my second out here uh, Where we have um, You know one of our troops that will deploying, be deploying uh, At some point shortly so what we want to do is they need to get their vessel moved out um, and uh, do the training and everything else. It's just hard for them to do it themselves. So uh, I've been enlisted to kind of come on out and, and help out with this, um, which, you know, is my pleasure to do so. And um, I'm going to give you the straight poop on this one. And because this is uh, this this has a lot of positive qualities and a few things that are going to need to be um, recognized for uh, you know uh, the buyer that will probably have to take care of. As you guys know with my videos, I'm about as honest as they get. I try and show you everything I can, um, so you know exactly what you're getting into. Because this vessel, there's a lot of value here. So you have almost five thousand in value just in the uh, motor alone. But what I'm going to do is get right to the point. Uh, as I go, you know, the vessel. Just so you know, every, it's been sitting out here at the lot. Uh, it hasn't been cleaned. I kind of came a day or two early, and um, so just kind of look past some of the grime. But overall, the hull's in decent shape. Um, I don't know what happened here. If somebody didn't get a fender out in time, and they just thought, uh, actually, that is fender rub. Uh, <laughs> man, that thing must have been heated. Uh, overall, on the outside of the hull, <laughs> we look okay. Uh, you're going to have your minor nicks and scratches, as you would think. Uh, at some point, the bottom paint is in okay condition, uh, but at some point after probably a season, I would pull this thing up and maybe just give it a fresh coat. Uh, I did want to let you know, I should have got to the point, I guess, this is a, this is actually titled as a 2001 Sea Pro, titled or with a Florida title, but the hull ID number is telling me it's an O2. So, um, hull ID numbers to me are dictate what the actual year is. Uh, there must have been an, uh, a problem with paperwork because this is a 2002 manufactured hull by Seapro. So, um, I have it up right now to 2001, but the hull ID is telling us it's a 2002, although the title says 2001. Um, it's something that can be fixed with just a picture and documentation um, in the registering state. So, now that we got that out of the way, a uh, quick note, it is a 2007 Suzuki 4-stroke that only has about 50 hours on it. It's a DF-140. And on another note, this vessel has been barely used over the last two years, uh, which, you, uh, as we all know, is more of a negative than it is a positive. Uh, last time it was run was just over the summer. Uh, the seller is going to take it out on the water for me if I can't be there in the next couple of weeks or in the next week. Um, in addition to getting it cleaned up for you guys to uh, let us know exactly the status um, of where we're at so we know exactly, you know, bilge, battery, and so on and so forth. But upon last running a few months ago, she was fine. Now, to get to the crux of the matter, and, I, and I'm trying to be as thorough as possible, this is a 99 trailer, a fast load. I'm going to put it in C minus D condition. Um, it looks great. It's aluminum. Um, but uh, I do want to show you guys you have some rusting going on right here uh, on this beam. And also when we come up down here, you guys can see the brackets are starting to rust. Well, not starting to. They are rusting. Uh, so over a long travel period i mean if you're going from just short point a to point b that's one thing uh but i would trust the integrity of that as well as the axle itself um looks to be rusting out its torsion axle oh no we have springs i'm sorry um ooh, mbs um there's a b just is not happy i'm there um so anyway we have some rusting uh i'm gonna grade the trailer uh, this will probably get you to where you need to go, but I wouldn't trust it uh, any further past that and even if that that's going to be happened in evaluation on site So this vessel does come with a trailer, but she's going to need a new axle uh, Some brackets and a little bit of love and care the tires appear to be in decent condition shape I'll grade them in uh, C condition 
uh, just to kind of keep it um, the same as the rest of the trailer. But definitely the trailers are uh, going to need a little bit of work. So let's just get that out of the way, um, plain and simple. As far as the exterior part of the hull we've seen, we're pretty good to there. And obviously the winch has been kept up to date, so we're good there. Now as we go to the back of the vessel, as we see, um, you got a DF-140 uh, that has been sporadically used over the last two years. Uh, stabilizer fuel has been put in. It's about a quarter of a tank. Um, but I did let Sella know we need to put some fresh fuel in there. Uh, even with stabilizer, we do not want phase separated fuel. My recommendation is going to be, regardless of the value of this engine, we all know this is going to need a new water pump um, at some point. So I would probably get everything serviced. Uh, I would you know, change the plugs, get it serviced, get a computer readout, and as well change out that little uh, rubber impeller that we know is going to give us uh, fits the you know, second you get comfortable with the boat. But, uh, you know, you have a Suzuki uh, DF-140 with about 50 hours as logged in by the seller. Now, as far as the interior part of the deck goes, we're solid all the way through. I've been on it. Um, she just needs a cleaning. You got storage, you got storage. Uh, the cushions are actually in decent shape. I'm not showing any tears or rips. Uh, this one here has got a little bit of sun worn and you got a couple little goobers right there where it used to say C-Pro. And this side too is getting a little dried out. Um, most of these cushions can be cleaned up simply by a little technique I use. You put some uh, paper towels in some bleach, let them sit on it. It'll draw out this nonsense and then uh, they should clean right up. Um, into the actual helm area, Fish Finder 250. Uh, I haven't seen this run and I want to let you guys know I haven't been out on the water either with this vessel. Once again, we're just assisting um, in trying to get this vessel sold. And uh, my recommendation is also going to be uh, you're going to need a marine water fuel separator. And in investigating here, um, I'm taking a look here. This primer bulb as well as these hoses and uh, possibly this one they're a little sun worn I would probably change them out it's just a few dollars so you will have probably a few dollars between service um, you know and as far as the condition of the battery goes it looks fresh we're clean and neat and the bilge does work um, but you know once again take that into account so overall a 2001 slash 2002 C Pro Bimini top trailer in questionable condition uh, overall solid vessel good boat good C pro good size dual consoles are in demand with a solid engine uh, and you have uh, live well and fish box um, I think it's a great buy I'll uh, make a quick note it is not hydraulic steering it's cable steering uh, props in good shape so I think that for somebody looking to get in at the end of the season here and do a little work over the winter uh, let's just say we put a little bit of service in the engine um, you know and and um, you know the trailer I don't even know what to say about that either fix it uh, you know get a new axle which is really not as expensive as you think uh, the brackets um, you'll probably have somewhere in the essence if you do it the way I would do it I would change out the axle and the brackets um, I'd firm up that beam or weld up uh, get service done um, and um, a couple of the little ticky tack things figure you're gonna put about a grand plus or minus into this um, if you do it you know inexpensively and and you know calmly and smoothly so overall I think you just got a real nice solid vessel here um, but she's gonna need a little bit of work it's not a project boat it's just a boat that's been sitting as a serviceman just has not been able to uh, give her the attention that she needs just as a final note of record uh, she was originally powered with a DF 90 and in 2007 um, uh, uh, this vet, uh, the, the motor was purchased and installed professionally uh, by a dealership up in Charleston. So anyway, Rob out here at I'mAlwaysInHotWater.com. Hopefully I didn't confuse you, um, but you know um, we, we do want to get this vessel moved and I know somebody out there wants it. Um, and you really, uh, you know, you do not have, uh, you know, that much involved other than I would get it serviced and put some fresh fuel. Uh, possibly a battery clean it up and deal with the trailer and you're good to go and um, you know we can work from there so anyway Rob out here and I'm always in hotwater.com out on the base at Paris Island 
wishing you guys a great and safe boating day. And if you guys have any questions, um, let's see what we can do to get this vessel moved out uh, for this nice young gentleman. You guys have a great day.